Elena here from Hoof and Hen Farm, and in my introduction video, I promised you guys I would be documenting some of our projects and letting you guys follow along. Today, we're going to do our first project that I'm videoing, and um, it's kind of appropriate since the project is about video. We are going to be running a network cable down to our goat barn so we can get a good, strong signal down there. I want to put up some cameras so I can keep an eye on our little goats that are due to deliver in the next four to six weeks. So we're going to be running from the house here down to the barn. It's right over my left shoulder here. It's about 150 feet. So we're going to bury the cable in. We wanted to rent a trencher for this to make it a little bit easier, but the trencher is kind of expensive. We don't need to go very far and it's going to be over $200. So I think what we're going to do is just attach the middle buster to our tractor and bust a trench down through there. And we've actually done that before when we ran water down to the barn. So it worked out pretty well. So um, we're going to run the cable down. We're probably not going to get finished today. I'll be setting up the cameras and the access point a little bit later. I'll show you what access point we're using and what cameras we're using, but I'm not going to go into the detail of the setup. I've mentioned before I'm in information technology, but I'm primarily a programmer, and if there's anything I hate, it's networking. So no one needs to watch me get frustrated and pitch my laptop out the window. So I'll just set that up on my own, but if you have any questions about it, if you want to do this for yourself, feel free to contact me and I'll help you out where I can. So let's get started. notice in our videos how Eric does all the hard work and I'm making comments from the peanut gallery like this we're running from up here and we have to run down under my landscaping timber all the way to the barn so I had to point out wouldn't it have been easier to roll out some cable to go up to the corner of the house and put it under the landscape timber. What do you have to say to that? Too late now.
our wireless access point. And for that, we used one of these Netgear wireless access points. I got this off of Amazon. It was a warehouse deal. It was only about $22. The, uh, the only drawback on this is that the instructions weren't that great. And whoever had bought it before and sent it back had changed the password. So that caused me a little gnashing of the teeth until I figured out that I needed to reset it and reset the password. And then after we get the, the uh, Wi-Fi going out here, we're going to be installing these Bellini cameras. These are indoor cameras, but since they're going to be inside the barn, I think it's going to be fine. These are not very expensive. They're around... 32 to $35. I got them off of Amazon and I already actually used one inside. I've got it pointed out the window towards the uh, barn here so I can watch during the day. What I really like about these is their pan and tilt so you can remotely move them around and see what's going on. What's not so great about them is they're not um, cloud-based so you can record to an SD card in your computer but you can't record up to the cloud, which I don't really need that. I can kind of keep an eye on what's going on. But if you're busy a lot, away a lot, and away from a computer a lot, you might want to look for one that's cloud enabled because it will record to the cloud and say you look and you notice you've got a, a goat or another animal that's sick and you want to see exactly when her symptoms started. You might look back on your cloud recordings to see well, this started an hour ago, two hours ago, something like that. But for, for our purposes, these are going to be great. Eric's still busy hanging this access point up where it's out of the way, but I've had to lock his helpers up. They're just watching from the sidelines. They love to help, but they're a little bit too much help sometimes. I wonder if there are any other YouTuber homesteaders out there who dip their fingers in the goat's water first thing in the morning before recording their video to kind of smooth down those early morning frizzies like I just did. So it is another day. I said that we may not finish the day we started the project, and we didn't. We ran into a slight technical difficulty. We got, got all the cable run, got it buried, and we had no communication between the house and the barn. And the reason that happened is because we bought the bulk cable, so we had to terminate the ends of those, and we did. We crossed a wire. It was a minor thing. We just needed a $10 network cable tester, but we didn't have one, so the project took a halt for that day. But we got one the next day and got everything communicating. It took five minutes to do it. Got everything set up. Well, it took a little longer than five minutes, if I'm being honest. I set up the, the wireless access point and the Wi-Fi and then promptly forgot the password, so I had that to deal with, but that was human error. So this morning I'm really excited. We finally have cameras in the barn. I've got one right behind this post here that will show some of the stalls. Right now we only have one. The reason for that is we're running on an extension cord out here currently. We um, just finished our barn. We got it completely upright at the end of December, we still have a few finishing touches, including wiring, and we will be wiring it for solar here in the next few weeks, so look out for a video on how we're doing that. We have about three or four more cameras. I'm going to put a camera towards the outside corner of the barn to watch the gate, and of course a camera for every hitting stall. So, at the end of the video, or in the description of the video, I'll put the links to what we use, the network cable we use. You want to make sure that you get an outdoor direct bury cable if you're going to be burying the cable. I'll put a link to the wireless access point that we used and the cameras that we used. So if you got anything from this video, if you enjoyed the video, I hope you'll hit like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, put them down below. If you have any questions, I'll try my best to answer them. And next week, I plan on giving a tour of our barn and telling you guys how we went from a 10 by 10 dog kennel and expanded that out to a 30 by 30 barn for around $2,000. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe and hit that notification bell and you'll get notified when I post that video. I thought I'd append a short little clip here showing you what I can see on my computer screen without actually having to be out at the barn. 
we have two cameras set up. We have the one that we set up last night, and we also have had this one up for a while while I can look out where I can look out at the barn. There's not a lot going on. You can see a goat butt here now that she's eating from the manger. And um, you can actually have multiple cameras. You can have mini cameras. I've only got these two set up now. And you can do a full screen so you can see a little bit better what's going on. You can do the panning. There's not a lot, but there hasn't been a lot of activity in the barn today because it's a nice day. But I have seen the, a steady stream of chickens coming in to lay in the hay and the dog coming in right behind them to steal their eggs and eat them. So expect in an upcoming video for us to be moving the chickens to a different lot because. We can't have this. We can't have the dog eating the chicken eggs all day long. It's not good for her. And see, there's a chicken now. Again, if you like this video, I hope you will subscribe and join us as we continue to grow and bring projects to you. Until then, have a good day.